How glorious! Clad in rusted iron and gnawed black and bronze, these fallen heroes of past empires are allowed no rest. For the wicked powers of vampires and necromancers raise them from their resting place. Their ancient names stripped from them along with most of their memories, allowing nothing more than their combat prowess to remain. Indeed, now even their last remnants of humanity have been taken from them, becoming undead, reanimated whites of great power, becoming the Grave Guard. Just as a powerful necromancer will someday die and rise again as an undead, all his vile power is intact. So too can the greatest of warrior heroes. Many of them are truly ancient, the remnants of an aboriginal tribal people who once occupied the lands of the empire thousands of years before it was so known. With decayed bodies and rusty armor, the silent graveguard stand vigilant upon the walls of ancient castles, watchtowers, and haunted keeps. Eternally on guard, these are the bodies of great warriors of past times, held together and reanimated by powerful magic. Their purpose is to protect the vampire rulers of Sylvania and stand forever vigilant. In ancient times, while the great Sigmar Heldenhammer still drew breath in the world of mortals, many of the men of what would become the Empire were already highly religious and superstitious, believing that if they did not get wards and magical runes in place, their spirits would come back and haunt those who they love. But these superstitions also served as a double purpose. Buried with their weapons and armor, it was expected of them to indeed come back to life briefly to defend their sacred tombs alongside spirits sent by Mor, the god of the dead, should they be attacked by grave robbers and inexperienced necromancers. Little did they know that after centuries, the wards would lose their magical energy and their equipment meant to be used for self-defense would give their corpses great value to those who sought to build an army from the ground using the dark powers of necromancy. The Grave Guard would often march along with their powerful masters, their duty to protect them always their priority. Their corroded armor and ancient weapons are enchanted with dark magic, and their resilience has become well known across the nations of human, elf, and dwarf alike. From the cursed lands of Sylvania come the immortal vampire counts, who rise from deep within the vaults of castles and temples that lie in ruins. They seek their prey from amongst their opponent's finest warriors, and they send the Grave Guard to hack them down. Amongst the skeletons and zombies commanded by the Lords of Undead, the Grave Guard are indeed few in number, but make up an elite and sturdy core of heavy infantry, upon which the entire army may reliably rest upon. Tirelessly working on the front lines, the cackling of their bones and armor send shivers down the spines of even the most experienced warriors, their cursed blades killing with no respite or pity. There is very little, if any, in the way of limitations when it comes to the role that the Grave Guard can fulfill. Being made up of warriors with heavy armor, they can wield almost any weapon that is made for human 
dwarf, and even elven hands. Fighting in silence with clinical efficiency, these ancient warriors move their blades in the dance of death that leaves the enemy vulnerable and terrified. Their enchanted armor and resilience as undead make them formidable and able to take heavy attacks from the enemy without taking many losses. They are more disciplined than most skeletal warriors, ghouls, vargeists, and many creatures that make up an undead force. In the field of battle, they are often found near their necromancer, always protecting their masters against anything that moves too close. My legions advance! Bring me bone, bring me flesh, but do not bring me these things back alive. There's a story that recounts the night the sacred forest of Athalorin was attacked by the undead and stained with elven blood. The wards of protection in Athalorin keep any intruders at bay. In the case of the undead, these magics deny the necromantic powers used by the vampires, so their armies crumble to the ground as soon as they trespass the protected area. Many mighty armies have been stopped by these protections alone, negating any advantage they may have through sheer force of numbers. Lichmaster Kamler raised the Legion of Graveguard to march with him into the heavily protected forest of the Elves. These wards of protection were broken by the powers of the Lichmaster, and their path was clear. Although not only magic protects the verdant realm of Athaloran, for the Wood Elves were alerted of Kamla's intrusion and ambushed the invading force, unleashing deadly arrows against them. As the undead warriors advanced more and more into the forest, the Wood Elves' tactics proved to be ineffective. As the arrows passed through the empty ribcages of the undead, and the ones that struck home dealt little real damage. The undead force advanced, hacking and slashing as they went. It was until the ancient tree spirit of the forest arose and crushed the grave guard with devastating blows and massive stomps. As this happened, the defenders of Athaloran realized this attack had only been a mere distraction, as Kemmler has already taken the magical artifact he was after and had fled the sacred realm. For me, the true prize is that wand of dark magic. With it, the legend of the Lich Master will only grow. The worst was still to come for the defenders of the forest, as that same night, the Lich Master raised once again every last one of the Grave Guard to fight once again. And this time, the Wood Elves were no match against the cold ruthlessness of death itself. The sacred forest of Athaloran was stained with the blood of its Wood Elven defenders. On this channel, we are putting together narrative Total War cinematic battles and Warhammer lore videos. A special thank you goes to our Patreon supporters who help us in the making of more content. You can also join Patreon and earn extra perks while supporting the videos to come. Find the link in the description below. Make sure to subscribe, and thank you for watching. See you on the next one.